Hey everybody, uh, today what we're going to do is we've got an orange uh, 1987 Volkswagen Vanagon here. We've been noticing that it's uh, grinding a little bit in the rear brakes. Uh, and since we haven't really done much with the uh, any, any part of the brakes or suspension or anything on this, um, we thought we would uh, see about changing out the rear drum brakes. Um, we've already uh, took a look at one side and did it ahead of time off camera, so we knew what we were doing. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and uh, it's uh, we got it on there. I think we're going to send the drums out to get them turned, but uh, we're going to let you guys share on this side. Uh, these are a little harder than, than some I've done before, but uh, mainly because we got new springs in there. They're just really tight. So um, you can follow along with us here on this journey. We'll see if we can get this thing uh, taken care of today. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is jack this up and get the wheel off. Crusty. The rotor is really crusty. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, go. <clears throat> we'll bang on it though. Pretty nasty. Oh, gosh. Okay, let's move that for the kill. <clears throat> move in a little closer so you can see what's going on here. Okay, so here's the situation. We can't get the drum off. So we're going to go a little drastic. We're going to take off the castle nut, which we just got slightly loose. And we're going to try to take the whole hub and everything off with it, and then we can take it off from the back side. We got some room behind it, but uh, sometimes these just get way too tight. Right here in the center around the hub is where it's kind of frozen. Uh, it's like the two pieces are stuck. We've tried WD-40 a lot of different things. We didn't bore you with all that part. So we're going to some drastic measures. We may actually have to replace this drum because it is pretty nasty. When we take it to the shop, we'll see if we still have some clearance um, enough to turn them. So let's go. Yeah, here you go. Should be able to pull it. Pull it. I already broke Push it. it right? Don't pull it. Pull it down. I'm not pushing to me. Oh, Down, just push it. There we go. She's creaking off of there. Here we go. That's good. That's good. Okay, go again. Oh, it's, if you it's don't have one now. of these big tools, well, 
Oh, you're, you're gonna have to get one. <laughs> Can you loosen it? Uh, not with my hand. It's gross. Mm -hmm. Crody, crody, crody. Probably do I probably don't right. need to bite. Yeah, you don't need to bite. Don't need the cheater bar anymore. We've also got a 77 bus. A couple years ago, we had to take these off. So you really got to get the right tools for some of these old buses. Well, you modified that one. And then I had to buy a. Uh, yeah, this was a half inch tool and I cut it out to three quarters because the half wasn't cutting the mustard. And it's always good. I've got this piece of steel here uh, to act as leverage. I don't know if you can see that, but it's an L shaped. I'll take it off here in a minute. If you can see that, it's a big L sheet. And I just got some holes in here and I put it on two studs. And that way, if you're turning that way, the car won't be traveling and you won't be putting too much. You're going against the ground, so it's not going to hurt. If you're putting it back on, you want to flip this thing around and have it sticking out this way so you can get a good tighten on it. So, anyway, right now we're going to take that back off. Whole hub on here. It might be just as hard. Ah. Like Look at that. It's going to be easier to change the brakes now, that's for sure. Because we can get to everything a lot easier with that hub on. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to do have to do some hammering to get this sucker back on. Well, or not? No. Okay, we got them both off. Beat it off, now it's off to O'Reilly's. Our favorite place in the world. They, they love know us, us there. They know us by name. <laughs> <laughs> and our phone number, which we're not going to tell anybody right now. It's not good. Okay, let's go. All right, boy. Okay, we got that off um, and uh, took the drums out to uh, O'Reilly's to get them turned. And uh, as it turns out, they're way out of spec. And so we're not really going to be able to do that. So we ordered a couple of new ones. Won't be here till tomorrow, so... We'll have to uh, put those on tomorrow, but for now, we yeah, see that on the outside. since we took that whole hub off of there, it Should sure make makes it a lot easier. easier to get to stuff. So right now we got to take off these springs. Which we got a new tool for. How's it work? Yes, you got a new tool for that. I don't know how it works though. Well, you probably have to put your hand on the back, keep from spinning. On the back of what? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. These spring tools go on the, on the shoes. That's Where is that crispy, thing? That is, man. That one's really crispy. Oh, come is on. it turning on the back? No, I got my hand on it. Yeah, it's probably so rusty. You probably get... I don't think I can see where it is. See. Oh, come I on. I it's trying to. I can't even see what it's doing. The other one fell off. <laughs> oh, this one ain't falling off. The springs are so bad. It looks like it's. No, it's not. Good grief. Mm. Push and I even turn. got my glasses on. There, there you go. Good she grief. got off of there. All right, you gotta take that pin out of the back. We got some new uh, tools for this. As you yeah, can see, there's a lot of brake dust in here. They always get filthy dirty. And somebody's put these on backwards uh, according to the Benton, Bentley manual. Um, this uh, actual drum here, or the, excuse me, this shoe goes on the other side of the car. This uh, emergency brake uh, lever here is supposed to be sticking out the front and so they've got these messed up and backwards so we're going to fix that as well so now we take all these springs off and yeah, it's a little easier to get to now isn't it look at that that's wonderful yeah. man that did not have come off the last time either Hang yeah on. and that one is so thin we might just uh i broke it getting the other one off yeah well, actually i want Use your flat screwdriver. Here, use this thing. Thank you. There you go. Just right off. There we go. I snipped it too. Yeah, there's the other ones. Okay, the, the other ones, ones are back, are back behind, behind that. Behind yeah. That. So it's probably best to try to pull way. it. Just pull that off. And... Oh my gosh. There we go. There we go. 
There we go. Now you can see those springs in there are hooked, as you can see back in there. Those are hooked on a little uh, set of uh, oh, teeth sticking out of the back of the, the wheel. Yeah. And so those are a little hard, tricky to get stuff on, but we're going to get them off much easier when you pull it all apart like this. And these old springs are a little easier to maneuver, aren't they? And those new ones, my goodness. <laughs> Pull off of there, Mindy. Good grief. Oh, oh. Okay. All right. There so we go. now that's all off. These things come off too. We're probably just going to clean them up. I'm not going to bother taking those up off and cleaning them on wire wheel or anything. Okay, I need a little, my... little spray in here. Next thing we're going to do is take this wheel cylinder off. So uh, yeah, on the back. There's just a uh, there's one nut back there holding it on. Oh, wait a minute. Um, I need to get the brake line first. And the brake line. So the nut's right there below the brake line. line. And the 12. Just one nut. Oh, wait. There's another nut. I'm sorry. And a uh, brake line. Am I going the right way? Does she have trouble when she's behind? I do. Am I going the right direction no. or not? No. Would you go down? I go down. Okay. Brake line's a little hard to get off of there. The other one was a 12. This one feels, this feels like it's a little longer. It was a little easier too because on the other side the bleeder valve was busted off so it wasn't in there. You know what? I think this side's an 11. Maybe. Uh, do not quote my wife on these sizes. <laughs> did it move? I don't think it did. Okay, we're just gonna we'll get that off of there and pause it for a minute. Okay, she got her loosened up now, so just getting that brake line off of there. And it's an eleven. It is an eleven it millimeter. Is an eleven. Kicks anybody needs to know that. It's an eleven, and we busted off the. Bleeder valve there. Good thing we don't need get that. Out. But we're replacing these wheel cylinders, so we don't really care. If you're not replacing your wheel cylinder, you might not want to break that. Yeah, you might not want to break that off. Well, you that are true. going to replace your. <laughs> you'll, you'll definitely replace them if you break. Unless you can get it out. Oh, it's finally getting easier. Give her a minute to speed that off of there, and then uh, we'll take wish. that big nut or bolt off the bottom and get that wheel cylinder out of there. All right, now she's getting that bolt off back there, and she's got the ratcheting wrench on it there. And we're leaking brake fluid like crazy. Obviously, we'll have to leave the system. I'm gonna, uh, Cut away here for a second. I can see how things coming right out there. I'll get me a little rubber nipple thing and put it over that brake line so we don't lose all of the wood. All right, very good. I'll keep all. that. Perfect. All right, there's a little handy thing. Use a little uh, vacuum line boot um, to plug off vacuum lines. Stick it over there and you'll save some of your brake fluid. It won't be dripping everywhere. Plus, you don't want to get that brake fluid on any paint either. Because uh, it will hurt paint. Of course, on this thing, um, you're not going to hurt no, anything paint-wise. <laughs> it might actually help uh, this That'll crappy a orange paint. Video. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to do a video on on the paint, paint because removal. this is really bad. This paint. It's terrible. Somebody has uh, Roller. rolled it on. I'm pretty sure. So I told the previous owner that this would have been worth more, and I would have paid more for it had it not been painted by him. So. <laughs> I'd anyway. like some carb cleaner, please. Yes, I will get your carb cleaner and we'll clean you. that up. All right, she's going to try it. We're making a mess on our floor. This is a crummy garage. We'll clean that up later. We're going to do this in your garage, and it's a lot better than our garage. And you're probably going to want to uh, put something down to collect all that fluid. We'll throw some floor sweep on it, but this is a crummy garage. 
Stick and you can tell tag. that's very well. You can tell that's one of our best well-used brushes. It still had the price tag on it while she's trying I just to use it. it. Yesterday, it was the first time I ever used it. You used it yesterday, and yeah. you didn't tear it off. I didn't take it off. Didn't bother me any. Okay. Uh, it's kind of disturbing. Uh, you know. Pretty easy going here. We'll fast forward through the rest of this so you don't have to see her brushing the teeth of this. <laughs> it's getting out of your pants. Get up, get up. Oh no, my pants are going to be wet. Yeah, hey, how me. about a towel, shop rag, or something? All right, I want to show you real quick here. Here's that little tooth thing that's sticking out there that those springs go on. You can see it a lot better off of this, but later we got to get the springs over those either side of those little jaws there. All right, I'm going to cut away so we can get some other pieces for the and, next uh, step. Okay. Take this thing off. Now, uh, huh. got to get a shop towel. Here's Annie Oakley here. Went crazy with the carb cleaner. I got to take this one Yeah, off. you got to take that out. We're going to put the wheel cylinder on now. Now, I know the right person probably would have spent a lot more time cleaning off this backing plate, but, uh, you know, this is just our get around in the wintertime van. We may do something else with it later on, yeah, but uh, like for now we're, we're not too incredibly worried about it. It's a, yeah, I think it's okay. So we're putting a brand new wheel cylinder on it. Just because we put one on the other side and uh, probably a good idea to replace everything at the same time. And then you don't have to worry about it later. So. It's a little more costly, but it's a good thing to replace all of your brake components back. Yeah, I think that needs cleaned up. I think that needs cleaned up. Yeah. yeah which includes bolts. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're and the cleaner upper of bolts. Yeah, this one's got the uh, the very tip of the threads there messed up, so we had to get a new one for the other side, so we'll just pull it out. That get that out. All right. Ooh. All right, so this is looking very nasty. This is the, uh, the tensioner, or not the tensioner, but the... Uh, uh, brake caliper shoe adjusting uh, mechanism as you brake there's a clip here that grabs these little teeth and unthreads this and, and separate expands it and makes that as the shoe uses this gets longer um, and you can tell this is really nasty there is no way this would even turn so we're going to go take this over on the uh, wire wheel we're going to clean it up okay I'm going to go ahead and screw this wheel cylinder back on while he's cleaning up that thingy adjuster thing. cylinders in. And I have brake fluid on my hands again. Yay! Okay, so now here's the piece all cleaned up. So now we're going to work on putting yep. that on. Okay, so we got new springs, which is good because the other ones are Garbage. really garbagey. So we're gonna, it's important that we get the right and the left sides in because they're just opposite each other. So they color coded them for our convenience. Oh, so the blue one nice. goes on the arm that has the... Uh, okay. Emergency brake lever on it. So the first thing you gotta do is hook up the emergency yeah, brake. That's right, that goes in here. And All right. Yep. Okay. Is that as far and, as it goes? Yep. Okay, so I and then that goes. It always wants to pop off though. All right. Yep, and then you'll have to get that spring over one of those jaws. Let's see if we can get a better picture here. It's uh, really hard to see, to... folks. I'm gonna take this off the tripod. Turn the right direction. <clears throat> Let's 
sometimes a little hard to get that there in. There you go. go. Now these are really tough spring clips. Ah. Remember we had to use rope on them. Yes, Is that tool we just got? Yeah. Okay. If you don't have a brake spring clip, she's <laughs> very new. excited about this. <laughs> if you don't have a brake spring clip uh, wrench, or excuse me, pliers, spring pliers, here's how easy it is with one of these things. <laughs> we think. We hope. So we'll see if she knows how to do it. So, look at that. That springs it right over there. Would you look oh, at that? Oh my goodness, that was a miracle. That was so much easier than the last time we did this. Wow. And that is this right is there. So now, tool. you know, when the last time we did this too, we didn't have that whole hub off there, which no, made yeah. everything so much more difficult. But anyway, so now we're just going to do the same one. thing with the other side. It goes in here. Yeah. And the red one goes in. Good grief. So you can figure out how to get that thing. in there. Okay. There we go. That goes down here. And with her newly found best friend, handy dandy brakes and pliers. This is like completely. Yeah opposite of where it needs to be. That boot is coming off a little bit. Yeah, okay. It'll be all right. Usually doesn't go in, come out that far. There you go. All right. Oops, okay. we're all blurry. Hold on, something went happen here. Let's see if we can get this brake pliers in action again. Yep. Okay, you can see how that works. Uh, above it. Oh, above it. I'm sorry. Oh, oh she blew it. <laughs> what? It's not as easy as it looks. I know. What? Get that thing out of the way. Maybe you see better. Don't want to break that down. Oh, good grief. Well, the first one was easy. The first one was really easy. It hates that. me. All right, there you go. Back, back, back. <laughs> yeah, you see said than that. Squeeze. I can't squeeze. <laughs> squeeze harder. Yeah. There you go. Golly. There she got it. Look at there. Okay, that was fun. I'll tell you what. As hard as she was working at that, that's still tons easier than what we did last time. <laughs> okay. Well, All right. One goes... now, that one doesn't go there yet. We got to put this piece in. Oh yeah. Which that, is our that, cleaned up, yeah, 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 handy that, dandy that. adjuster mechanism here. Oh, yeah, mine's doing that too. Okay, this and way. for the moment here, we're gonna refer to our diagram to figure out how this goes. Actually, I'll just take you over to it. Let me see that in there. Yeah. So. We're going to look at this in the Bentley book here. Here's how this goes. If you can see it there. You can see that the longer part uh, of this thing goes towards the back, to the inside. And on the other end, this, this has got like a, a fat and a thin end. And it goes like that. You can see here the fat end comes out. And on this side of it, the long end goes to the back so it should go just like that so let's put it in all right Mindy mm -hmm. so this goes in just like that and it goes in here right yep and then, oh, I should put this one in first no that one in first yeah, however however you can do it and we probably should have put this in as we we're doing it, but we had this problem last time, so we just used a uh, screwdriver to pry that back so we could get it in there, remember? Yes, yeah, so we're doing it. How did you pry that back? I'm thinking, how did you do that? I'm not really sure how I did that. Don't, don't mess up your boot. It ain't going to work. It's not going to work. Let's see here. Maybe we can pry this side back. Yeah, I don't think that's going to help you. I don't either. It's all going with it. Yeah, very crazy. Here, wait, wait, wait. Is that, did that move the yeah, other side too? It, mm -hmm. This thing's stuck. 
You have to be a lot farther than that. Can you just put that back there? It's in all the way. Ugh. Remember, we used two screwdrivers last time, remember? Where's the other one? No, we can't use that one. Well, that one's really oh, here it is. Clumsy. I found it. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Oh, ah. And I lost it somewhere. She's lost it. I lost it somewhere. <laughs> oh, we're almost there. A little farther, Mindy. A little farther. Oh, my goodness. You got to go farther. I can't do it. More, more, more. <laughs> I can't go in. There it's in. Got it? Yep. Hey, get Becky. It's probably not the way you're supposed to do that. No, maybe not. Okay, now should I put this white spring in? Hang on a second. All right, so now you can see what's going on here. This comes, luckily this, these shoes come with it too. There's like a little uh, clip on here. And as your shoes expand, uh, this thing grabs this and turns it. You probably want to spray that with a little WD-40. Don't want to go crazy, but that way it'll spin freely and expand as we go. Oh, she's right there. Put it in the threads here. There you go. All these threads? Yeah. Oh. There we go. That way it'll spin a little bit freely and this thing will do its work. But to hold that up against there, as Mindy's pointing out right now, you got to have this spring yeah, on this here. This thing is like... There we go. They can get that it with the regular pliers. Yep, they can get that with the regular pliers. It's oh, a pretty nice. wimpy spring there. <laughs> All right, that goes right up there. Look at that. And now it's held right in place. Look at here. Okay. Well, Bingo. Fun one. Bingo. Okay. It goes there. Right, one goes on. Yep, one goes oh, across yeah, the bottom I here. I should have put that on before. I put that on. I still swear the book says it goes across the back. Yeah. I, I think it could be across, but see if it'll go across the back. It, no, it's not going to go across the back because it, it gets it in the way. No, no this, it goes in the this. same spot. It goes in the same spot as that goes in. But it's on there, the back. But, there, but there's yeah. something back there. Okay, have it your there's way. A, there's a thing back there. I think she's doing Trust me. I don't think it's going to hurt anything in the overall scheme of things. <laughs> Good cinematography. <laughs> George. Oh, yeah, I need those. Where's those? Right there. Yes. That does not take that a lot easier, doesn't it? Spring grip. Vice locking grip type pliers. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, here we go. Yeah, that's gonna... Well, that's where it goes. Oh, we didn't put these in yet. I still Should think... Try these? I don't think that's... If it went back there, you'd have to weave it in between things. There's these... these those... Yeah. Things are in the way. Well, and this is in the right way. Okay, we... We flipped it. Took it around and put it around the back. It was just rubbing against this spring here. For the parking brake, and we didn't want that. And Bentley says to switch it, so that's the way we did it. So. The other one's not. The other one's not. No, I did it wrong. On the other side. Well, that's, that's why we didn't video change that one. Change the brakes. We'll do it right. <laughs> so that's pretty it. much it, folks. We got other than these, uh, we got to put these on. Oh, that's right. I knew I was gonna and do we that haven't one. put on the. Uh... Now these were a problem um, on the other side, and they're probably going to be a problem on this side too because. Um, these springs are much bigger. Where'd There's the other ones Marcus. go? Oh, I thought I had them laying here. Good. There Just for comparison, if you look at these, uh, the new ones in the package for this car are way bigger than the small ones, and you just can't compress them enough. So we're going to try, but I don't have a warm fuzzy that they're going to compress enough to uh, to well, get on that post. The tool is you can't see which direction. We may have to use the original you're springs. Supposed to use it. I wonder if you're supposed See, to there's put just it not much of that peg sticking up. So what you do is you put this pin in from the back side. Looks like this. Goes through a hole in the back side. And then if you look at the hats on the end of this spring uh, nut, you can see that it's slotted. And it'll fit right in the end of that, and then you twist it. Um, and it'll lock in place. So we're gonna try, but I don't have a warm fuzzy that these are gonna work. See, that's as far as you can push it, and you can't get past it. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to use the old ones. Yeah. Just 
just not sticking out enough. Now you could probably use these no, if these pins were longer. But yeah, okay. we're going to have to put the old ones on with the new hats. Old Springs new hats. Boy, they look terrible, don't they? They're crusty. They're very crusty. But... I'll turn that up and down for you. Oh, turn, just turn it up and down. There you go. There we go. There we go. Oh, that's not what we're going on. I don't know why. I don't know. There we go. And a half turn. And look at that. Bob and it's on. Uncle. So now I do the same thing on this side. And she's going to put that in from the back. Look at that. Up and down. And turn it up and down like that. How's that? <laughs> do not do what my directions lovely wife just did. Or it's, yeah, I caught uh, it beforehand. Not before it got on camera, and I'm totally editing that no, in. I don't care. Okay. Everybody makes mistakes. No. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Got that one in there too. So that's it. Drum. Everything's it. All we need to do is a drum now. Like I said, tomorrow we get the new drums on, and so we'll hold off until tomorrow and show that part and we'll just replace it on both of them at the same time so that's it for now and we'll be right back but to you it tell us it'll be 24 hours to you it'll be pretty instant okay we're back we got these fancy new drums she was almost going to say and it's freezing it's cold freezing cold it went from 50s last week to teens 13 or something wow those look great what's the inside look like I wonder if those have a coating on them we're supposed to clean off with brake clean. I don't know. Um, probably should. Okay. Um, we're going to cut away just for a moment and see if we can spray them down. Okay, we got that all cleaned up and sprayed. There's usually some stuff on it to keep it from rusting. Um, you want to make sure that you get that stuff sprayed off of there. Got it's going to be tight because those brake shoes spread out a bit and the old brakes were worn, so we might have to try to push those in. Those in there. <clears throat> we did drive it a little bit. Good grief. All right, hang on a second. I'm going to take the lid off the brake reservoir and then see if we can push those shoes in just a little bit. Because they're obviously pumped out a little too far. Okay, we got them pressed in there. I think we got it started. It's a little tight, but it'll come out of it. You got a hammer next to you, you could tap on with yeah, it on this side over here. You got the studs lined up? No, that's a problem. Oh, I didn't have to do that. Hit this side over here. This, this side, this side, this side. What? The side over here. Left. There you go. There you go. Push her on. Hey, it's on. Doesn't that look nice? Yeah, you got to put it on even later. So. I'm sorry folks, I'm caught up on something here. Okay, looky there. This thing should break a lot cleaner now. Yeah, hopefully we don't hear a bunch of scraping noises. Yeah, let me hang on a second. Um, over here looks like it's going to rub a little bit. Make sure the back plate is spread a little bit. Back plates tend to to rub on these Volkswagens. When you get a new drum on there. She's got it. I hate gloves. You like them when it's cold. I know. Like today. They just get in the way. I need to use. My thumbs aren't this long. <laughs> apparently. Helps when you got a heated garage and this little thing. And it just doesn't have enough room to pull it in here and heat something. And work. We got a little wood burner in here, but uh, it don't do much good when you gotta have the door open and hold your projects inside. We restored a whole car in this little space. It was challenging. Alright. <clears throat> we probably wanna put something on. Uh, we'll cut that part out later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, my, you uh, might want to make it go I forward. I thought I did that. Push that grief. No, oh, don't, 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 don't. No, I know, don't do that. <laughs> It'd be so easy to do it's that. It's like Laurel and Hardy in there. <laughs> <laughs> All 
or maybe Lucille Ball, I don't know. The Stooges. I'm, I don't want to include myself. cold out here that thing doesn't look like it's working as well and we might give them a little crank with a torsion bar after it's on the ground but that was pretty much for the most part done